Hello guys, welcome back. Today I am going to do something different. I'm going to uh, make a chicken, an American chicken salad. Today I am going to show you different ingredients that I use to make a chicken salad. But before I get started, you know the drill. As always, please like my page and also hit that subscribe button down there for me if you have not already done so. And as always, it would be greatly appreciated. So, let's get started. Now, as you can see, I have my uh, garlic in the uh, case here and also the uh, seasoning. You want to uh, put your top on it. I like, I don't know where you guys get these these things from, but uh, I'm not sure if they use these things uh, in America. Uh, they usually go and, and buy these, these garlics already prepared uh, in the bag. It's pretty interesting. You take this, you squeeze, you see you squeeze it, and it shreds the seasoning and the garlic for you already. You don't need to be using the old way. You, you take the thing and you smash the garlic. You just use one of these things. I think they're about uh, uh, 40 or 50 power in the stores here in Brazil, but it's very handy for mixing garlic and other uh, ingredients, okay? Also guys, in my uh, chicken salad, we're gonna be using cucumbers. Remember this word, cucumbers. I'm gonna be using tomato. I'm gonna be using a tomato for my chicken salad. And also uh, onion. Going to be using some onions. Uh, is, uh, and uh, uh, always, uh, guys, wash your your vegetables. Always wash your vegetables before using. Make sure you get all the chemicals on it. Even the leaves, even the lettuce. You want to wash the lettuce also uh, before you eat. Okay. So then I'm gonna chop uh, some tomato, one tomato here. My wife showed me this. I, I've never done this in America. In America, we normally just cut out uh, tomatoes like this, but for my uh, chicken salad, I'm gonna cut it the way my wife uh, prepares. She normally cuts it like this. I've learned to do it this way. Nice little big pieces is okay, it's good. Then you take it like this and you cut it on the side. And you get some nice little small pieces there. Makes it very good to put into your chicken salad. I think that's enough. I think this is enough for uh, uh, my chicken salad. Then I'll take some onions. Take one piece of an onion. And it doesn't matter which way you cut it. Cut it any way you like for the preparation of your uh, chicken salad. I'm probably going to cut some extra pieces that I'm going to be putting on the fire with my with my chicken. Okay. Cut off some extra pieces here, which I'm going to be putting some in the salad, and I'm going to be cooking some with my uh, chicken. Next, you want to cut some uh, cucumbers, okay? I'm only going to use uh, about a third of the cucumber here. I'm not going to use all of the cucumber here. I'm going to use about a third of the cucumber. I'm cutting little pieces like this for my salad. It's always a good idea, guys, if you can uh, buy your vegetables fresh either from the farmer's market, uh, where the farmers use, they don't use so much chemicals on these uh, uh, vegetables. So it's nice and fresh. I'm gonna be using uh, tomato, onions, cucumbers on my side, okay? Also guys, it's always a good idea to use fresh broccolis on your salad. They, they host a lot of vitamins and they're good for you, good for your body. Also, uh, guys, there's always uh, room for more vegetable ingredients in your chicken salad. Here, I've already had some 
uh, carrots and some radishes uh, shredded uh, to put into my salad. Always a good idea. The more vegetables, the better. Also, I am preparing some boiled eggs for my salad. I love boiled eggs in my chicken salad. Okay? Now I'm going to be adding uh, my garlic that I mixed earlier in uh, to uh, the, 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 the chicken bowl here. You just add your ingredients. You see I have a lot of uh, aloe here. I have a lot of garlic. I love garlic. Garlic gives it a good seasoning. Good seasoning. And then you will make sure your hands are clean. Make sure you wash your hands very well when you are preparing meat like this. I've already washed my hands. If you just take it, you just mix. You mix the garlic and your chicken. There's another thing I like to use when I am uh, mixing the, the garlic. Use some soy sauce soy sauce. You mix a little soy sauce to give it a little bit of extra flavor. I take a little bit of soy sauce here and I pour it on my chicken. Give it a little extra flavor. Okay. The next thing I would do guys is prepare the pan. You can use uh, the regular oil. You put just a little bit of oil here in your pan if you want to use the regular oil. But if you want more of a healthy, healthier solid, I like to use extra virgin oil for my uh, when I'm cooking cook my chicken. So you put a little virgin oil here, just enough so you can saute the chicken. Not a lot, just a little bit. You take the chicken. The chicken is nice and sauteed here, and put it in the fire. Look at all that extra garlic there. And I like to take this extra garlic and I like to put it, the extra garlic and the soy sauce in with the chicken. It's gonna give it a really good flavor. Mmm, yummy. Then you want to cover it and let it simmer till cook. Okay, as it's cooking, guys, you can see it's simmering now a little bit. Don't forget to add your onions to it. I like to put onions to it a little bit. It adds some flavor. It adds some flavor to the chicken as you're cooking it. Some onions. So good. Let's, let's cover it, okay? And after it cooks, guys, then you take a few pieces out and uh, you cut it up in little pieces like this so you can put it in your salad. I like a lot of chicken, so this is one piece and this is a, 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 another piece that I'm gonna cut up and put in my salad also, okay? Looks good, doesn't it? So good, so tender. Okay, guys, I just finished my American chicken salad dinner. Uh, pepino, a pepino here, sabinet, cenora, too much, ovals, broccolis, cenora, abacaxi, and alfas. And of course, let's not forget the, the frango. Very delicious, guys. I hope you uh, will enjoy this video. Oh, top it off also with a glass of iced tea. Glass of iced tea, guys. And of course, some salad dressing. You mix it up, some salad dressing, some oil, vinegar, and water. And with some of your uh, uh, pepper, pimento, and salt. And you can add it on your uh, salad like I like. 
You can just add it on the salad here like this. You can even add a little salt and uh, pepper if you like. I tell you guys, after you have this full chicken salad dinner, you may need a toothpick. It's also good. Also good. Until next time, guys, don't forget to like my page and also hit that subscribe button down there for me. As always, it would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, have a great day out there, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.